Good morning everybody, Matthew Thomas here back again with another video and if you can already tell from the title of this video, we got a hike today. So I just woke up, did a little hygiene, just brushed my teeth, wanted some yogurt and stuff. We gotta get dressed, but before that, I just wanna let you guys know what I'm gonna eat. I got two of these Quaker Oats, maple brown sugar, oatmeal, just some complex carbs before the hike because you always want complex carbs before a hike because they're gonna sustain energy throughout. So the difference between a complex carb and a simple carb is the simple carbs are more like sugars, sucralose, fruits, um, candy and stuff like that. That's like quick digesting sugar that'll just give you instant energy, but this will mitigate the, tr the crash. Okay guys, and one other quick tip is hydration. So make sure you're hydrating 24 to 48 hours before a long distance event or endurance event, because if you're hydrating the day of, it's actually not gonna hydrate you properly. So you gotta hydrate the day of, but make sure you're drinking water and having your electrolytes at least 24 to 48 hours before. So electrolytes meaning like sodium, potassium, make sure you're salting your foods heavily. And then, Make sure you like eat a banana or supplement with a potassium supplement. And yeah, it'll just make it so you feel more hydrated, you'll feel better, and yeah guys, make sure you're drinking your water. Okay guys, so now that we went over what we're gonna eat for breakfast, a little bit of a morning routine, not really a morning routine, and I didn't shower, so I know that you guys are gonna make fun of me for that, but we're about to hike, so there's no point. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna crush this food really quick, and I told you guys about hydration. Now I'm gonna catch you guys when I get to work. How old is he? He's 10 weeks. 10 weeks and he's as big as my dog? So he doesn't even unlock the Monkey Q Sharing guy. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna be a big ass dog. What's your problem? <laughs> hey! Ah! What's your cereal number? What's your cereal number? Rosa! Ra! Evans! Ra! Gomez! He's on the rest of the ones. Got it. James. Just. Hey, someone give me a I have no idea. Just. Go. Okay, guys. Yeah, so we are uh, staging, getting uh, ready to push for the hike. We just pulled our weapons. So everyone's just getting set, ready to go to head out on the hike. Um, one difference is uh, I'm always a road guard, so I always get volunteered to be a road guard which means that you're in the front of the mass formation and then you have to stop, get out, stop traffic so the rest of the, the formation can walk by and then you run back to the front with your pack. So it'll be fun, it'll be interesting, it's always a challenge. Uh, yeah, so I'll check back in when we're hiking. <laughs> no. Bro, one day, bro, one day I thought he was in there, bro. <laughs> that shit, like a seven times the last one. Never did not turn off. I was not going to laugh. 
need, I need 40% right there. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> oh, oh. So we're the road guards. So we go out ahead of the rest of the company. Each um, platoon marches as a section and then we march as our own section so we can stop traffic so the rest of the platoons can walk by. No, not for a minute. Going all the way down to the cones on the right. Yeah, just me. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Okay, guys, yeah, so now I'm posted up as a road guard. My other road guards left me, they're way down there now. And now I just gotta wait for the whole company to walk by. And now I gotta run up and catch up to them all the way up there. They're way the fuck back there. Can't even see them right now. But that's just ass. Just sucks, huh, Cole? Being a road guy is lit, but sometimes it ain't. Nah. Way back there.
Thank you. 